Welcome to Planet Wildlife and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do an insulated cup comparison. We have several different cups here. We have kind of a generic plastic cup that you might get at any truck stop or gas station. This one's made by Goodyear. We have three Ozark trails of different of varying types that we'll talk about because where do most people get their stuff? At Walmart, of course. And we have the famous Yeti cup. And we're gonna be testing their insulation to see which one works the best. We're gonna bring water to a boil just like you would at your campsite. We tend to use a French press to make our coffee. So to simulate that, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it into another pot with a lid on it and let it sit for five minutes. Then we'll fill the cups. After about five minutes of it cooling, we're going to fill these cups up. You gotta wait 10 seconds. So we're at about 175 degrees. Can I write that down? I just chest the old one, or the last one, to see if it's the that same. Screws. They should theoretically all be the same. Yeah. Been an hour. We're gonna check them one at a time. Looks like 140. 160. 160. A little over 160, maybe 165. 160. Is, wow. Am I wrong? This one just seemed like it went past the 160. Are you going by? Everybody else had to fight to get up to 160. Like it keep going. But just a little. Wow, that's bizarre. This one is a little hot to the touch. None of the others transfer at all. We're gonna talk about the Goodyear one first. That's comfy, it's cute, and it's small enough, I'm pretty sure it'll actually go in the cup holder in the car. The bad thing about it is the lid has to like screw on. That was always a real pain. And the lid flips open and has like a little straw hole. Now I noticed this one has a little hole, this one has a little hole. These others, the hole was a lot bigger. Now the one that tempted the best has the biggest hole. Just a hole for this mouth hole. Mm -hmm. Do they all seal? That one seals. Nope. Oh. All the slidey, look, all of these have slide tops. Yeah. None of the slide tops seal. Only the ones that have the fold over tops. Those are the two that sealed. Okay. okay. Check it again in an hour. Time to do the second hour temperatures. Let's see what we got. About 123, 144. 150. 154. 151. We're wanting to kind of review these one at a time. We got this for five dollars. It was on an end dial display. And <laughs> it's pretty cool. You can put it on your belt, especially if you're into Burning Man. You're supposed to carry your own cup and it's easy to clip onto your belt. And it's actually pretty comfortable to drink out of. It's an eight cup. It's awfully big around there. There's no way that thing's going in a cup holder. No way know how they got different designs on the other side i think they all have the ozark trail on one side and then the other side there's cowboy designs and all kinds of different stuff that you can get and oh and this also you can see the little clip right here a little l-shaped thing so you can fold that in for storage 
takes up a little a little less space if you're wanting to store it somewhere so overall pretty cool little cup it's 12 30 and time for temps 115 for the Goodyear 135 for the silver Ozark Trail 140 for the pink Ozark Trail 144 about 141 okay so what one are we up to talking about the pink one it's my favorite cup though <laughs> it's mine it's the pink one we actually tested it and the Yeti against each other all summer and one thing I liked about it is the pink stayed cool in the summer the black Yeti got so hot you couldn't even touch it and its shape its shape is kind of cool and if I remember correctly it actually fits in the car cup holder we'll actually do that test later this isn't the lid that this one came with it came with just an open sippy lid I had to get that Walmart sells them right next to it as like a upgrade or a replacement or something so this is actually a replacement lid and it fits really tight so if you put soda in there it blows it out because it like builds pressure so that's good bad weird it's a thing fourth hour at 1 30 about 107 Ozark Silver comes in at 125. Ozark Pink 133. Ozark White is 139. And the Yeti is about 135. This one actually belongs to our parents. And um, it's got a slide top with a giant mouth hole compared to all the other ones are, you know, <laughs> a half or third that size. <laughs> Now, if you're actually drinking out yeah. of it, that might account for it going down faster, opening that enormous hole all the time. We've just been letting them sit with their lids closed. But considering how big around it is and the handle, I don't, I don't think it's going to fit in most cup holders. But not ours, certainly. We have really small cup holders, so it's kind of a point of contention with us. <laughs> 3.30 now been six hours just under 100 just under 120 maybe 122 i don't know, like 124 more like 122. so now for individual cup review time the yeti something that needs to be said about the yeti is it's like four years old all the rest of these oh so is the michelin man or whatever so is the goodyear one both of those are like four years old so they've been through extreme freezing and extreme heat whereas the three ozark trail are brand new the pink one was used all summer the little silver and little and the white are brand new the yeti did have problems with during the summer here it got blazing hot you couldn't touch it other than that you know obviously it's a really good cup here we are for the final test eight hours will the coffee stay hot for a whole day of fishing this one is 90 so no we got lukewarm coffee how about the ozark trail looks like we're at 110 like 118 looks like 120 again about 118 the winner is this weird little Ozark Trail one. I don't even know. I was so surprised that that was the winner. We didn't expect it at all. Of course, everybody thought the Yeti was going to win. It did not. However, the main question of this video was, is the Ozark Trail a dupe for the Yeti? And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. They came in exactly the same. However, if you really want your coffee hot, this one, how weird is that? Of course, I don't know why she's taking a eight hour temp. If it takes you eight hours to drink a cup of coffee, you probably don't need to be drinking coffee. We have a particularly small compact car with a very a very small space. I know you guys with your big old truck, you got a cup holder that'll hold a five gallon drum down to a thimble, I'm sure. 
but for those of you with regular little cars, okay, the cheapy, which, you know, we wouldn't recommend anyway. Yeah, it, it fits in there. Woohoo! Yeah. Lukewarm coffee fits. So that was number one. Number two, no freaking way. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Number three, I'm pretty sure it does. Yep, no, no, oh. I could force it in there. It, it kind of barely sits in there. It doesn't really go down into it the way it's supposed to. Yep. This one, I'm pretty sure, no. Not a chance. And the Yeti, it kind of sits in there. Okay, sorted. But it doesn't set all the way down into it the way it should. Okay. So, <laughs> I wouldn't want to hit any big bumps. <laughs> so basically our car it failed the test. <laughs> None of the cups fit in our car. Except the one you don't want. <laughs> Except the one that gives you lukewarm coffee. It's like prison sex. <laughs> The, the coffee you want, you can't get. Yeah. The coffee you can get, you don't want. Yes, the Ozark Trail is a dupe for the Yeti. If you're really into name brand recognition and want to be all fancy, by all means, get the Yeti. It performed well. The Walmart one cost like seven bucks, but I also had to pay four bucks for the replacement top. So it was like $12. Thanks for tuning in and watching our comparison. Please like, comment, subscribe. Do you have a Yeti? Do you feel that we're wrong? Are you glad you paid the money? Leave us a comment below.